I'm going to read through it and just highlight some of the stuff and talk about the course. Um, and uh, we'll start to look at some of the resources we've got as well. Um, so the first thing is the letter. So let's scroll through that and just talk about um, what's listed in the letter there. So the very first thing is you'll notice the course outline and it's divided up into term one, two, three. Now this is the first time we're running it at year 12, so it's the first time I'm teaching it. I'm so excited about teaching it. Um, like, as, as, a, as a maths person, um, I think it's gonna be a good challenge for me to develop my sort of literary skills a bit, but I think they're fine for, for year 12 philosophy. Um, what I wanna say about that, so we've got, yeah, metaphysics, term one, ethics, term two, epistemology, term three. Um, Oh, when we talk about assessment, we'll talk about it. So, in metaphysics, um, who would like to remind me, what is metaphysics? That's what we're studying in term one. When? More like how everything came to be. Yeah, that's one of the questions metaphysics address, absolutely. Um, you guys are whispering. Yeah, the poster of all the terms and stuff is in my locker. It's in your locker, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. You, so you didn't take it home and no, memorise it? No, I did. It? Uh, I brought it back to school. Ah, uh, excellent. Billy? Uh, just, just stretching. Just stretching. Yep, so, um, so in our class, I am going to, like, sort of, I think we've got a small enough size that I will just ask people uh, questions. So, uh, Jensen, metaphysics? Uh, like how the world works. Yep, how it works, absolutely. Yeah, question. Yep. Yeah, so it's about what is, isn't it, you know, as a, as a broad question. Okay, can anyone remember uh, what epistemology is? Uh, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, epistemology is about how we know things. So, so maybe here's a good way to think about it. Metaphysics is about what is. Uh, epistemology is about how we know what there is. And ethics is about how we should act in the world. What are the things that we should do? Okay, so in metaphysics, right, we didn't really talk about ontology when we did it because it is pretty hard. And that's what we're going to start off with, but it's also very fascinating. Okay, so that's going to be our lesson on Thursday. We're going to dedicate to uh, on Friday, so we're going to talk about ontology. All right, um, and in metaphysics, that's where we're talking about does God exist or does God not exist? Uh, do we have free will or are our lives determined? Okay, determinism, and then we're talking about philosophy of mind. You know, what is what does it mean to be conscious? Are we really conscious, or are we just sort of robots carrying out that think we're conscious? In ethics, okay, uh, who can remember what meta ethics is? Lynn, you know what meta ethics is. You did a presentation on meta ethics. <laughs> They're correct. Yeah, is our morals, um, our, our moral truths, objective or just? dependent on opinion. Okay, how about utilitarianism? The outcome measures like the ethics of it rather than the action. Perfect, yep. It's all about we should act based on what the result's going to be, the outcome. Absolutely. That's utilitarianism. Uh, who can remember deontology? It's like a strict set of rules that you make every decision about. Spot on, Michael. Yep, so rules-based. It's like lying is always wrong regardless of whatever consequence it will lead to. Um, lying and other things. Uh, how about virtue ethics? You remember? Acts like a virtuous person. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, acts like a virtuous person. Um, and 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 what's an example of a virtue? Can we think of so justice, courage, temperance. Okay, these are sort of qualities that good people have. Um, and natural law we didn't get to talk about last year, but we will this year. In epistemology, we've got what is knowledge, okay? Can we know anything or can we throw doubt on everything? What does it mean to know something? Because we use that word all the time. Um, even this one, like what is truth? Like that seems like such a straightforward question to answer. It's just what is but we're going to unpack different theories of truth, different ways of looking at the world and understanding what does it mean for something to be true. We have empiricism. Okay, we definitely studied empiricism. What's empiricism? 
Think of empirical, what often belongs to the word empirical. The empirical sciences, so that's a way of knowing through observation. Okay, it's about observing things. Rationalism is a way of knowing through rationalizing, through our minds and exercising logic. And postmodernism, we haven't talked a bit about before, but that's going to be something we do discuss in this course. And that sort of um, philosophy after, after the during the twentieth century um, and theories around that. So let's look at the um, the assessment outline. Okay, I am going to talk more about assessment in a sec. But you can see we've got six tasks, and there's heaps of freedom. Okay, for now I'm going to keep scrolling because we'll come back to to assessments in a moment where I can detail the different parts. Uh, this is the same for every letter. We taught all you guys last year, so you know sort of class expectations and so forth. All right, down here. So these are the things we need to talk about. Firstly, sector. Okay, so let's go to sector, the sector page. And probably what I'll go to, this is our cover page. So this highlights, um, you know, is a course outline. Um, we don't have a unit planner. In planner, less than organizer even, this is gonna show us what we've got planned for each lesson. And I've got it mapped out most for most of this term, okay? And I do have a pretty tight schedule, but the good thing is, right, if you look at the SACE curriculum documents, it's not like maths where they're like you have to teach A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We just have so much freedom. And so if we don't get through all this stuff, it doesn't matter. Really, all SACE needs to see is good quality essays from you guys. Okay, so what are we doing this term? We've got um, you know, an introductory lesson. We're doing some ontology. We're starting with metaphysics. So you can see all the topics listed there. I don't think it looks like this for you guys. I think it looks more like, more like this, doesn't it? So let's bring this up. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. Learning intention, okay, so we're just, what we've got in there, discussing the course outline, recapping some basic concepts from year 11, there's the work to complete, um, and then the resources listed there as well. So that's what each lesson is going to look like, and I will add more stuff in there as we get closer to it, that's just a broad outline at this stage. Okay, we'll be recording most of the lessons and uploading them, um, but I won't present all the time, in fact, one thing that's going to be a bit different this year is we're going to do a bit more reading. Okay, we didn't do any reading last year. And so when I say reading, I mean I'm going to bring some stuff in and we're going to read it together um, as a class and talk about it. Um, okay, I'm going to be sharing resources on Google Drive. So you guys are a little bit familiar with that because last year when we were watching movies, I would upload them there so you could access them to finish them off. So I'll just bring that up and show you guys what it looks like you need to bookmark this link. Okay, so you've got a Google Drive for philosophy. Um, so let's bring that up. And you see, like there's all the assessment tasks in this folder ready to go. You'll also see them on sector, so they're sort of duplicated. In film, that's where I'm gonna put films that we have a bit of a look at. I've got permission from everyone's parents already to start watching, um, start watching different things. So um, we're gonna be watching a few different things. Particularly today, we'll probably start watching Westworld. Has anyone seen Westworld? Excellent, so you guys are fresh. Okay, in logic, all right, I've got here um, like a logic booklet extension, okay? So I wanna give you guys a lot of freedom to pursue this course where you wanna go. Really, all I need from you is six assignments. There will be class discussions, there will be presentations, but other than that, you know, you could just do nothing and be lazy. Or you could really explore this course and take on and learn lots of new things. So that's, that's the plan. I want to give you guys a lot of freedom to explore philosophy. Last year, it was, ve it was very structured, and I gave you guys a real smattering of lots of different ideas. We explored heaps of different things. Um, so this year, you're going to have a lot of freedom to explore different parts. So if you're interested in logic and pursuing that a bit further, you can have a look at the logic booklet and you can take that a bit further. There's some more logic exercises you can do in there. Um, okay, and then in readings, we're gonna be using lots of different readings. Um, so here's just some PDFs that we're gonna be referring to. Some of them I will print off if they're important. Otherwise, we'll just access them electronically. Um, yeah. All right, so that's the Google Drive. The next thing is the Google Docs. So last year we bring you guys a booklet in and you had to sort of 
fill in in the booklets, didn't you? You had booklets that you were handwriting in. And that was okay, right? And I think the reason I wanted to do that is because I didn't want um, I didn't want people just to go on the computer and Google answers and copy paste, copy paste. Uh, but it didn't work as well as I would have liked it to as well. I think people got a little bit lazy and they were sort of one word answers and maybe people just aren't as good at, at writing with their hand as they are as writing in the keyboard. So I do reserve the right to restrict computer use, but we are going to try and use utilise our devices as best as we can. So that being said, you have a link to your own Google Doc. Okay, so it's just a link. You just click on it, takes you straight there. Don't share it with anyone. I've sent them all out already. Um, and that's for you to edit and fill in questions and answers in there. And what that should be is sort of, we're going to do that throughout the whole course of the year. It should be a, a, a map of philosophy for you to take with you. Um, and yeah, you can reflect on it in hindsight. But we're going to be addressing questions. It's going to be a way for you to explain different concepts in your own words. Definitely, people can type faster than they can handwrite. So I'm expecting um, some, some, some good paragraphs in there. Okay, I'm gonna be in the study center. I don't think you need to come to the study center for philosophy. Um, we, I would like a little draft all your work, but I will draft it using the sort of, through the computer scrolling through it, like making a video reading about it. Um, resources. You need to bring uh, a pen or a pencil, okay, because occasionally there will be a time where we do write things down on worksheets. Um, you need a folder to keep anything that we give you in, all right, so I recommend a folder. You're going to be able to keep your, your letter, any other handouts, assignment sheets and so forth, uh, and your laptop, okay. So that's sort of the email there. So here I'm going to talk about assessment in more detail. I brushed over it quickly before I said there's six tasks. Let's break them down. The first task is an argument analysis. Okay, and this is the first one that we're starting with. And this is where you are, students undertake two argument analyses worth 12.5% each. So we're doing one for metaphysics and we're doing one for ethics. And so what that means is you're going to find an, a, a metaphysical argument, an argument about God or about determinism or something. Could be a cartoon, could be a video of someone speaking, could be an essay online and we're gonna critique it, okay? So we're gonna find something and we're gonna try and critique it. We're looking for maybe flaws in its reasoning, flaws in the logic, um, lots of different things you can consider. For the first one, I'm gonna provide like some, some ideas of things you can do, but you guys have a lot of freedom, okay? Uh, and they're only a thousand words. Um, so yeah, we've got students apply their knowledge and reasoning and argument in identifying and analysing the arguments of others. They provide evidence of reasons to support or refute counter arguments. Students may compare how evidence for the premises of an argument is developed in particular forms, symbolism, sound, images, irony or analogy, and students analyse logical strength of arguments. Okay, so it's about, you're not developing your own argument or defending a position, you're taking an argument and you're criticising it. Okay? Uh, assessment type two, we have an issues analysis, okay? And you're doing three of these, all right? So we're doing two argument analyses. We're arguing two, we're analyzing two arguments, one for metaphysics, one for ethics. For an issues analysis, we're doing three of them. And we're gonna do one for metaphysics, one for ethics, and one for epistemology. So we have one of these each term. You can see 1,500 words, 15% each. And this is basically like just an essay on anything you want it to be within that topic. Okay, so students undertake three issues analysis assessments worth 15%, one for each key area. Students identify why is it a philosophical issue, different responses to the issue. What position are, you, are they going to take um, in response to the issue? Defending the position and then communicating the defence of the position in a logical coherent manner. Okay. Three of those, so yeah, again, like now, rather than critiquing someone's argument, we're making the argument ourselves. We're doing some research, we're informing our argument and trying to build up a strong case for some position. Um, could be one that we hold, could be one that we disagree with, it doesn't really matter, uh, but for some philosophical position. And then the last one is an issue study. So we only have one of these, we're doing it in term three right at the end. 
this big 2,000 word assignment. It's pretty much the same as a issues analysis, right? Except it's longer and it's assessed externally. That means I don't mark it, I collect them and send them to SACE and they will mark it. Um, and in that, you can choose anything, okay? So you can choose whether you want to do something in metaphysics, ethics, or epistemology. So at the end of last year, what I gave you guys was this, to start thinking about it. Because what you definitely don't want to do is the same topic for two things. So let's say you're really interested in arguing about um, God or determinism, let's say God, all right? So in your issues analysis, you're gonna justify perhaps your position. I think God does not exist, all right? But that means you wouldn't be able to do it in your, um, in your uh, issue study. Okay, so we want you to have um, we want you to have a bit of variability there. Your an argument analysis, you're critiquing someone else's argument, so you could critique an argument for the existence of God, for instance, and then in your issues analysis, make an argument again for why God does not exist. That would both be fine because they're not they're not similar. One is a critique of someone else's argument. One is a justification for your own position. Um, so that would be fine. But I think with the issues analysis and the issue study, make sure they're not the same topic. So that's why I've given you that to plan that out. Okay, so what I, I'm going to have a break of speaking and give you guys an opportunity to sort of um, relax a bit and just reflect a bit on um, our holidays and what our thoughts are for this term. So we can open our laptops, open the link to your journal, and you've got these five questions I want you to answer. Okay, no, um, no, uh, no one word answers. Okay, I want to, and then we're going to come back and talk a little bit about it together. So you guys have been able to access the uh, 